The calendar may say autumn, but temperatures are still pretty sweltering here in North Florida. But the good news, the radar is clear. Still hydration will be key today at TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Richardson slides down after evading the defense, and he moves the chains. 12 yards on the gain, a great start for this offense. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game showing off those wheels and picking up some nice yardage. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. He's going to find Taylor downfield. It's complete. Down the left sideline. Touchdown. Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Colts march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now the NFL's third leading rusher last year, it's Nick Chubb. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. You look at this Colt defense. They were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. The best defenses I know, they draw lines in the sand and say, you're not going to cross that. For most of them, it's 100 yards of total offense. They didn't quite accomplish that, but still a pretty darn good game last week. Just over 100 yards of total offense given up. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. Looking to throw Lawrence. He'll buy some time right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. 11, 11. Here we go. Here's Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 27 yards there, a first down. That's good for a Jaguars. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Hey, I'm gone, 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 gone. Take right open, open. Hey, kill, kill. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. 
And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. The Jaguars at two and three here to begin the new season. But they come in losers of two straight, so try to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you talk about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They felt they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around. I expect them to play really well here. Well, this defense for the Colts, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. They sure did, and the key number to me was total offense allowed, which was barely over 100 yards. That's a heck of a sign that this defense is really putting all the pieces together and doing it cohesively. On play action, Lawrence sliding out of the pocket. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Where you get that play from, YouTube? Jaguars are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. McManus's point after is good, and we are tied at seven. Nah, nigga, you know you dead ass. You dead ass. You know you was dead wrong for that, bro. All jokes aside, bro. Nigga, nigga, how can if all the commissioners are saying, bro, it's his first defense, we can't, we we not going to do nothing. It's his first defense. If he don't do, if he don't change the roster, then you take you take action, cuz You can't get mad at me, and cause you, obviously it's not, it's not. I don't run the shit by myself. It's Mac shit. I have to go off what the nigga says, bro. You already know he he got a certain he feel a certain way to, to his users, bro. Losey, nigga, you cheat too. What the fuck are you talking about? You cheat too, nigga. And, and what the fuck does Mac do? Mac lets you get away with the shit that you do. What the fuck are you talking about? It's the same. You, you've been in this league for three years. My nigga, it's the same shit. He lets everybody get away with everything. You can't get mad at me and fucking cheat me to fucking what's the name because you upset about what another nigga did, bruh. That's not fair. Now me and you arguing about some bullshit because you mad at another nigga, bruh. You mad at another nigga. That ain't fair to me, bruh. We supposed to be cool, bruh. We squashed all that bullshit. You, you cheating me because you mad at another nigga? Because you feel like I ain't stand on my word when I explain to you what the fuck happened? My girl sounds too loud, bruh, but I, I just, you know, you know what I mean? I just felt like that was fucked up, bruh. Rather you feel some type of way about this shit, but bruh, I explained to you what the fuck happened, bruh. I didn't, I didn't leave you out in the what's the name, bruh. I, he had to fix his roster. The nigga fixed the roster. There's nothing I can do about it. You already know how Mac is, bruh. He let niggas get away with the fuck they want to get away with. You acting like you new to the league or something. Like the fucking the old the old Ravens nigga, bro. Look at that nigga. He used to cheat every fucking game. What? Ne nothing never happened to him. Hold on. Let me grab my mic. Hold on. What? After I saw it, I didn't see it in the rules. The niggas were still playing that. Bruh, I woke up this morning, Scrap texted me, talking about some, these are the, these are the, he, he listed the niggas that, that had the sub, the, the, the two, the two safeties, the shit's so crazy, the nigga high C had three safeties at fucking sub, bruh, we don't know this shit unless we go and, nigga, and I was looking at the roster, and I'm thinking like, bro, niggas just let a nigga beat me, but he really wouldn't even beat me like that. I seen it. I seen it. And what did I say? The same day. I said something. I said something to him the same day it happened. But after that, behind closed doors, someone said something to me. Hey, it's his first defense. We cannot take his trait because of his first defense. You're the only nigga that complained about it. You can't get mad at me about that. Yes. Yes, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. No one's upset that you said anything. But I'm upset with you coming in this game, the first game, and you have seven DBs against two receivers, a tight end, and a running back. 
That's not fair. That's not, I'm not you Nigga, you, did, you know what the hell you was doing, Kyle. You know what you was doing. It's alright. You you did it because you was upset about the nigga cheating and you felt like you should have won that game. Fine. I'm fine with that. But at the same time, don't take out you being upset with another nigga on me. Because you don't know what the fuck going on behind closed doors, bro. Just like the situation when, when the situation was the, the nigga scrap still in your team. I said something to Mac. But what the fuck can I say to Mac if that's if it's his lead, bro? I told Mac, I said, bro, that ain't right. Cause I remember I told I told I told you, bro, Scrap said he wasn't playing. I literally told you that. So I said, bro, Scrap ain't playing, don't worry about that. So you said, alright, bro, I'm getting the Cowboys. And all of a sudden, randomly the nigga hit the group chat. I'm about to I'm about to boot the nigga, I'm about to take the nigga team. And I was like, nah, I don't boot the nigga, but let me uh let me holler at him, see if he'll take another team. And you said you wasn't fucking with it because you felt like that wasn't right, which is I agree with you. I don't feel like that's right. So at the same time, you can't be mad about some shit that I can't control. I'm all, I, I can only do so much, bro. Yeah, bro, that shit, that shit crazy. I know that Bills nigga be cheating, bro. We all, we all know this shit, but Mac doesn't give a fuck. He looks at it like nigga, it's a Madden game, nigga. Get over it. Stop it. If you, if you can't stop it, fuck it. Bruh, that's how he talk, bruh. He's a Baltimore nigga, bruh. You know how them Baltimore niggas, they niggas is retarded. They don't know what the fuck they talking about. Ooh, he, nigga, like the nigga, he be talking crazy. He be trying to talk crazy to everybody, bruh. You beat the nigga, oh, bruh, Madden hold me, bruh, Madden hold me. That's, that, that's just how the fuck the nigga talk, bruh. I be ignoring his ass. Yeah, I seen this shit, bro. I seen it. I seen it. I might say, because some leagues don't even allow you to have, uh, they don't even let you change uh, uh, line, safety to line sub. Mm. Oh, yeah, I already know that nigga be cheating, dog. I already know he be cheating. Cause he, he not, he not the, you're not the first nigga that says something about him cheating. It's this, uh, what the fuck does he do? He does something that a nigga, a nigga literally just complained about this shit. What the fuck? Hold on. There was something in this damn group chat. I'll find it later. But, uh, yeah, somebody just complained about him cheating, doing some goofy shit. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, shit, is my quarterback hurt? No. Oh, yeah. Thank you, yourself, linebacker, yes, sir. And here you go, ship, ship, starting Rob. All the situation dissolved, and he went to add his two cents in it. I hate when niggas be fucking incisive and shit, but that shit is going on. Oh yeah, so a nigga said he was uh, cheating for signing free agents early, and he had 393 speed line safeties at linebacker. But and then and then another and another thing and another thing is right, you got a job, right? All of us have jobs. So if we if, if y'all niggas don't say nothing to us about it, more than likely it's gonna go over our heads because niggas ain't looking at everybody's rosters like. Oh, is this nigga got three safeties at fucking linebacker? Some niggas don't say nothing. Like, the nigga Mo just played uh, high C with three fucking safeties at fucking sub. He didn't say shit. Because some niggas just don't give a fuck. But you brought it to somebody's attention. I said something in the group chat. I had your back. I said something in the group chat. You seen me talking shit to the nigga yesterday. Literally. But somebody said that the nigga had, it's his first defense. He can't, he shouldn't be penalized. <laughs> no, 
Yeah. Nigga, holler at a nigga, bro. You be calling me your cousin and shit, nigga. We cu we supposed to be cousins, nigga. What's up, nigga? Cuzzo. I, I feel some type of way about that. What's up with that situation? Like you sent me your stream yesterday, and I went and watched your stream, bro. This is so crazy. Watch this. I'm about, I'm about to fuck you up with this. Watch this. I sent it. Watch this, bro. I'm about to fuck you up. Literally took I took fucking screenshots of your shit. Check your check your phone real quick before you call your call your play. I'll call it uh, the, the pause. Check your phone real quick. Watch this shit, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I had your motherfucking back. What the fuck you want me to do? <laughs> Look at this shit, nigga. I said I literally went and watched your stream. That's the Jags versus the Bills. I said, what y'all want to do yeah. about the about bruh having three Sadies at linebacker every time he in nickel? Come on, bruh. I had your motherfucking back, nigga. Stop what you doing. And we fucking, you got me arguing with you and shit for some goofy shit. My girl talking about some shut the fuck up. Come on, cuz. <laughs> Niggas ain't trying to be on that with you, bro. We supposed to be cool, bro. Here's a second and eight. I took my anger out on the run. Yeah, take it out on that Bills, nigga. Don't take it out on me. Nigga, you good, bro. That shit would have you heated, bro. I was like, bro, I don't even want to talk to this nigga. Like, I was just so pissed. I'm, I'm looking at this shit like, what the fuck? I gotta learn how to. I gotta learn how to. Yeah, man. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, nigga. We don't even know. I don't even know that Bills nigga, bro. That's the crazy thing. I don't even know this nigga. He just popped up. He just popped up. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, you looking at it like, all right, the nigga, nothing. The nigga didn't get his trait strip. This is what, this is what happened. The nigga didn't get his trait strip. You like this nigga? Rack ain't say shit to this nigga. He just allowing the shit. No, no, no. Nigga said something. Nigga said something, and they motherfucking said. It's his first offense, which is right. You're the only nigga that said something. So you can't penalize it. You can't. That's like going to prison, bro. You go fucking steal from the candy store. This is your first charge. They're not going to send you to jail off your first charge, bro. So you, you got to look at it the same way you would look at it as as, as real as real life. Can't penalize him. Anymore. Now, if he do the shit again, cool. And I watched this game. He, he just played the motherfucking Giants nigga. The Giants nigga said he cheated again. But I watched the stream myself. The nigga ran a lot of uh, what's that? What's that formation that that only has uh DBs in the in the, uh, in the at the box? Yeah. So you can't complain about a nigga running dollar all game. That's what he. That's what he runs. You can't, you can't complain about that. You can't complain about that. Alright, but I, I disagree with you on that. You can't tell a nigga what, what formation he can't run, bro. And I'm about to say, you can't tell a nigga what formation he can't run. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, all that nigga run is man. Yeah. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, bro, that nigga, he be on some shit. He be going, but he be going to the Super Bowl, bro, so that's why niggas keep him around. As they will take yeah, I think that is wrong. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 yeah, seconds. Yeah, I apologize for talking to you crazy like that. Because that shit, that shit be corny, but I just was. Yeah, bro, I was just pissed, bro. They'll outweigh from the 32 yard line here, second and three. 
beat them. You know what I mean? It's cool. We gonna fight all you. It is what it is. Richardson I'm looking at this shot. I'm like, this nigga got fucking seven DBs on the fucking on the skill, bro. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, nigga, you the one that complained about this shit. What the fuck is going on? I was supposed to add that formation to my playbook. Fuck. They just give niggas like animation when you got uh fucking uh safety uh, uh, linebacker. Here's Richardson with it. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. Oh, shit, boy. Uh, he's so fucking slow, dog. But he could not get that to stick and that is a terrible opportunity wasted there. He is terrible, bro. Richardson on second and ten. This will be swung out wide for Taylor. Ah, my field goal. Fuck, my A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. And Gay knocks this one through. And they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A field goal, the difference. 17 14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And the fair catch signal for and taken. So they'll begin this. Hey, did he score yet? From their 25 yard line. One point. Ooh. Jacksonville. On one three. What quarter is it? Uh, what they, did they give you a cash out? Cash out. Come on, man. Are they losing? We might just start jacking them bitches up if they losing. The nugget. Oh, that's a good play. You said what? What is that, bro? What is that? What's the score? Who they play? Who they play? What's it? All right, what's the score? 70, 63. Uh, they down by seven. They up by seven. He might get do three more threes. And what is it? Is it four even or is it four and a half? So four straight. Oh, no. <laughs> man. Oh, man. No bullshit. No bullshit. Now Lawrence on first down. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over on the balls. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I love the job they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far in this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. This will be caught just inside the 10. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the 5 here as he's out at the 6. 
So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now Lawrence. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That one doesn't find That goal line defense, bro. I've been running that shit for the last five games I had in my league. But you know it's standard. Fuck it. Quarterbacks and receivers get together for a little extra time each and every day in practice. I get the sense they got together for a lot of extra time this week to try and improve that passing percentage, and it's worked out quite well. I'll run that zig route. On third and goal, Lawrence. I knew that was coming. Who that zig was coming? That's y'all favorite route. So Lawrence will exit, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Jaguar field goal. The kick by McManus is good, and that will tie things at 17. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And their three-point halftime lead gone now, back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. A big play there for Indy. 43 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Richardson off the play fade. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. On second and a long way to go. Richardson, throw out light, pulled in by Downs. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive, not much since. And Richardson back to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead. Well, we saw so much of this last year at the college level, but there you go, his first rushing touchdown as an NFL quarterback. And with the speed he has, we certainly know it won't be his last because that's something that aided him very well, as you mentioned, at the college level. It's something he's going to carry over, and they'll make it a big part of their offense. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Hey, I'm going, going, and last going, time they going. got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too bad. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Hey, well, they're hey, in some hot water hey. now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now Lawrence. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. They'll complete this to Ingram is tied in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. They'll send Kirk in motion right. Play action. It's Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line. Tackled there. This duo locked in. 14 yards there. And a first down. Lawrence will throw. Getting the football to Davis on an out route. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. All right, let's go. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. But to throw again is Lawrence. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Quitty Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Gabriel Davis, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, is we are all tied now fourth quarter. Well, this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Come to the line, ready to start their next drive. 
Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Now a throw here to his running back. And now off to the races down the right side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Richardson's throw into the hands of Pittman here. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here's Richardson to throw. Flushed out right. And his throw is incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Richards into the air on first down. Buying time to his left. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And now a stoppage. It looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now Richardson going to shift things up. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Colts answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. That's good for the Jaguars. Here we go. From midfield now, Lawrence. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game telling all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. 
Off play action. Richardson. He'll let one go deep for Downs. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Josh Downs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And Lawrence going to smartly hit the deck here as he is able to pick up the first down in the process. Time becoming a factor, down two scores, though they have two timeouts and, of course, the two-minute warning to work with as well. He'll air this one out for Kirk. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. Now this air mail to the sideline. It's incomplete. And there don't appear to be any flags forthcoming. Maybe a little fortunate there. It's third down. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Flush to his right. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage, they also lose the down. So now it's third and long. From the shotgun, Richardson. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. Call that a gain of 38. A big march forward on the third down conversion. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He's had a very nice day throwing the football, and I think on this play, he's just trying to buy some time so he can make another big throw downfield. Unfortunately, couldn't connect on that one. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. 
Josh Downs with his third touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Colts tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. At their own 25 yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. Now he's free at the 35. And finally taken down at the 15. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Here's Lawrence. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. A final shot now for Lawrence. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time is running.